Hi, my name is Joseph Weeks from Say Bye Boss. Welcome to my Internet Marketing Checklist, Volume 29 Review by Kevin Fahey. Now, this is a guide that was put together by one of the most experienced marketers there is. And probably, you know, he ranks, he's a real title in the industry. So he's a guy who has produced these volumes over and over again. And we are at volume 29 and they have been used essentially by, um, if not half, maybe three quarters of the industry. Because what he does is that he creates this step-by-step -step guides based on his experiences and his research into various aspects of internet marketing. And these guides are as good or better than most of the training courses that you find out there, which are going for three figures. These guides are that good and what tends to happen with them is that once they come out, they are snapped up and they're taken and they're used and utilized in different ways. But nonetheless, the quality is there for all to see. And it is a guide that can help you take your business to the next level in so many different ways. Now, volume 29, which is about e-commerce, is one that you know even I personally find very interesting because I have half of my business aside from internet marketing e-commerce is is where i actually started and i tell you a story a little story so when i first started out in internet marketing what happened was i was trying to find ways to optimize my marketing because i was paying for it i'm outsourcing it and you know it was expensive this is the truth and i wasn't really getting enough back for it and the big issue was i didn't really know what was going on i don't really know what to do and I, I it was and because it was expensive i couldn't really track appropriately what or whether or not the, the the people who were marketing for me were were doing so what i did was i switched over and i i began to research various aspects of internet marketing myself and that is exactly how i came into it and so while i still carry on in i still have my in the um, e-com business as well I actually focus quite a bit on my internet marketing business because the e-commerce business, once you set it up to a level, it, it pretty much runs itself. Once you get the right products and you get, you know, what a fulfillment a shipping, you know, it's another word for shipping fulfillment um, setup, then it pretty much runs itself because all you have to do essentially is just ensure that you are there to answer. Uh, questions about delivery about the product about refunds and that's pretty much what, what goes on so you know as I go through the guide I, you see aspects of the of of the guide which I wish I had and I had gone through when I was sitting in my businesses I wouldn't have spent all that money and all that time trying to get it right but you know that's life that's why you learn isn't it so jumping into the members area this is what it looks like and that's this that's uh, Kevin like I said and he has a whole series of volumes. Um, this is the members area and the the um, the ecom volume will be there when you purchase when you purchase it. Now bearing in mind that you can also buy different combinations, you know, some of which are very good. The one my personal favorite is volume twenty five, which has to do I think twenty five yes twenty five, which has to do with money money membership sites. And typically membership sites are, and I don't want to digress too much, but you can see that I, I really think that this is a very good product. And I think that you should have a, have a, really have a, um, a chance to get your hands on it, especially um, at the beginning of the launch. It launches on the 1st of, of, of um, May and it will be at its lowest price then. It launches at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so you should get in there and get it while you can and what does it entail anyway so it entails i just go through a list of what you know what the topics are you know in in this particular volume so you've got the best e-commerce e solutions for 
uh, uh, I beg your pardon. This this is this is the one of the best e-commerce solutions, you know, for your business, and it covers areas like sh selling on Shopify. Now, I had a Shopify store, and it was quite good up on, up until a while. Well, I decided that I, because I was doing internet marketing, I had to make a choice, you know, between that and my other e-commerce stores. Right now, I have an e-commerce store, but it's not on Shopify. But I had a Shopify store, and it's extremely, extremely easy to work with because the suppliers are there. You can get them on board easily, and you can actually look through different categories. It, it, it's, it's, it's really good. The um, the other um, the next checklist is selling, selling on big commerce. Now, this is another platform, and it has to do with you know different kinds of products as well woocommerce is also another platform that you can use it's almost like um it's almost like a wordpress plugin and it's it is a wordpress plugin to be honest with you and it helps you to kind of really align your store in different ways this is a very important topic and i have a complimentary bonus you know um it is a custom bonus that will actually complement that because what I do is I give you a a, a very good plugin, you know, WordPress plugin, just in case you want to go the way of using um, WordPress as opposed to Shopify or something like that. So that that you know doesn't limit your options. So that's my first one of my one of my bonuses actually. Uh, finding profitable products for your store. Now this is the key. This is the key. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the key. Finding profitable products for your store. There are numerous ways that people go about it, but when you find out what Kevin has in his guide, you're going to think to yourself, why didn't I think of this? So this is a very important uh, checklist. That's checklist number five. Selling your own products. Now, selling your own products is brilliant because what means what it means is that you can actually source your stuff yourself or create your stuff you know and this is a very very important aspect because while you're trying to get up to speed products to do with you know digital products or products um, ebooks or things like that you know or just training courses that sort of thing could actually be some of the things that you can use based on your own experiences and these sell equally as well as physical products. So selling your own products is a very good chapter. How to make your storefront attractive. It is essential that customers come and see you looking professional and see you looking enticing, the graphics, the videos, all of that stuff, all of that stuff, it all ties in because it's a competitive environment and you have to be ready to actually take your competition on. Not just that, you have to be ready to attract the customers based on visual stimuli. There is a psychology to this, and these are the sort of things that are covered in here. Now, um, he dives into an, a method, free plus shipping model. And, you know, this is where you have a product and you add the shipping cost to the cost of the product. So what tends to happen is it then looks as if you're selling the product with free shipping it's another trigger it's a trigger people because if somebody goes to another website and sees that they have the same product and they're charging for fees they don't even tend to look at what the price comes to they just think to themselves free shipping i'm getting something for free boom so this is a very good a very very good checklist and checklist eight is, is fantastic as well how to add upsells for your products. This is one of the tricks that big um, stores like Amazon use, well, online presence. Because Amazon tends to have this structure where when you buy something, it'll also recommend other things. Now, this is slightly different from upsells, but it's almost the same kind of principle because it's almost, you know, you buy something and then you're prompted to buy something else. So one customer, you maximize the, the price of one customer, one customer, can actually instead of giving you one pound or one dollar they can actually give you three because they buy two or three products at one time so it's a very very good scale and this is 
a marketing and a and, a, and um, a sales a sales method that ensures that you maximize the most from every customer that comes through to your website. Now, the other things here are how to write newsletters for your e-commerce store. This as well, I gave a bonus to do with this because you know copywriting is what I. I, I actually put in as a bonus because, you know, when you go to, I give you this instance, you know, if you think of pick up a newspaper or just go to, go to, you know, go to any, any website that you want to and look at the headlines and the first things that catch your eye with the headlines are the, the, the way it's, it's put together, the way the, the, um, the headline is put together, it's designed to capture your attention selling products is no different you have to capture the attention of the buyer and you know to do this you have to be able to write your headlines in a way that is both attractive and attention grabbing it's not too kind of like you're not exaggerating you're just highlighting the aspect of the product that best will suit what you feel your customer is looking for and this is a skill in itself so you see this guide goes into so many aspects that maybe you hadn't even thought about. But I've also added my bonus of uh, my copywriting bonus to complement this because this is also quite important and it's across different niches. The other checklist is your e-commerce shipping solutions. I said to you in the beginning that what I do is I have a fulfillment. That's what it's called a, fulf a fulfillment arrangement where all I have to do is put the product on there and there are people who actually ship it out for me. Now, people go to Amazon to, to kind of like get this sort of arrangement or they have this with Shopify or you can actually get people online who could do this for you, especially if you're using, um, you're using sources where it's not your product, but these are manufacturers themselves. If you have this sort of arrangement, then the shipping is actually all sorted out for you. And in essence, the term for this is drop shipping. You have a drop shipping setup where you just front the products and the products are shipped out for you. It's huge. And you know, understanding the way and the way it works is very, very important. So that is going to be one of the models here. And the next one is um, the important pages your e-commerce site should have. Now, there are a lot of pages that you might not think about, you know, things like terms and conditions, things like, um, you know, GDPR, it depends on where you are, that sort of thing. And, you know, he covers this properly. And this means that you don't have to go anywhere and look for it because the legal aspects of your page are equally as important. You know, you don't want to get sued. You want to be compliant and you want things to be to roll smoothly. So that, that that's, that's another brilliant one. Adding value to your e-commerce store. Now, there are different ways to do this and it covers this interestingly and it covers this, you know, fully. Using social media to advertise your products. This is what I wish I had because this was the divider. This was the determinant for whether or not I spent money in ways that I didn't always get a return for. So understanding it and doing it yourself, you know, will be quite good. Now, using Facebook ads, Facebook is huge. It is where you have a huge number of customers for any niche. Understanding how to advertise in it is brilliant. So that's that's check checklist number 16, 12 ways to drive traffic to your e-commerce store. Now, this is good because it covers driving traffic, both free and paid. So that's good. The e-commerce store, it says what it does. It does what it says, I beg your pardon, it says what it does. Ways to boost your e-commerce sales. It's always good to have ways and their trip tricks and tips on how to do this. Now, this is what the, the guide covers and a brief look at my bonuses. My bonuses include, like I said, the copywriters black book, which is quite good. And it deals with writing copy for our headlines for your products. Very interesting and very good. I, this is the WordPress theme I was talking about. It'll help you if you want to have a very um, intriguing and captivating uh, um, WordPress theme. This is what I'm giving away as well as what my bonuses. Product creation guru. 
I said to you in there that you know you can actually pr produce your own products alongside products you sell other people's products within your store and understand the steps by the steps that you take to produce these products and we're going to be very good even though there's a chapter in there i think this will actually take it to the next level where you can produce the products you want and you can produce them the right way now the power of branding this is something that was not actually covered in there which i think could be quite useful your logo the way it's written what it stands for how you market yourself with your brand what you say to your customers what they look for in your brand and all these things are so critical in demarcating you from your competition also in telling your customer this is what i stand for you come and you buy off me and you're going to get this amazing quality and service so these four bonuses i believe will complement and actually help you take your business to the next level i know you'll be looking around to see what other affiliates have and they'll have all kinds of different um bonuses but if you think about it i've been through the list of the checklist and i've showed you how these bonuses can actually work within the, the structure of these of this particular checklist and how you can enhance it so if you like that please pick it up from my link subscribe give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down your feedback is really important and remember it goes live at 9 a.m eastern standard time and the price is going to rise incrementally so get in there get in there early and try and see if you can secure the best offer and the best deal on this product thank you very much for watching my review bye bye